Hello, everybody. Um, thank you for joining us on this wonderful Easter Sunday. Um, I'm joined here by my good friend, Jason Parker from Jason Parker Comics. Thank you, Jason, for coming on. Well, thank you very much for having me. It's greatly appreciated. I have to say I'm super impressed with your intro, mate. It's much more professional than mine. Oh, it's okay, mate. Anything's more professional than, uh, you know, the back streets of, of Wales. <laughs> As I want to it's say. true it's true <laughs> no but thank you mate for joining us um apologies from mikey um and kevin uh kevin should hopefully join us in a bit um he's just um a bit of time zone difference uh with times was a bit of a pain basically um, you messed that, up that you, you messed up yeah yeah i give him the wrong time i give him yeah. the wrong time and mikey is uh enjoying a easter dinner at his in-laws so oh, very nice very nice too yeah so but no uh, apologies from them but to be honest this whole live was basically um me and kev last night talking just wanting to hang out and obviously get the old um the old gang back together because <laughs> the size of that drink thank you <laughs> uh and uh just hang out but we've got a a bit of fun stuff to do. Jason's got a bit of an unboxing to do. Yeah, a bit of a surprise unboxing on this one. I've had it for quite a while, um, and I keep meaning to do a video, and I'm so lazy with the editing. So I figured if I do it live on your show, there's no editing involved, and I'll just steal your content. Yeah, that's what I'm happy to release it as mine. Steal your content, so don't worry about it. So we've got a couple of people in the chat. Let's just say hello. There's only a couple of comments, but. Hi, uh, Dave from Mark Spectre Comics and Biker Man. Happy Easter, buddy. Thank you for joining hey, us. Biker Man. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, there's, I mean, what have you been up to, Jason? I know you've been quite a busy guy selling mm. comic books. and Yeah, I, I think what's happened, my, my collector side has kind of gone to the wayside and I've gone more into selling as, as a trader, really. So I'm still buying comics. But I'm not, I don't feel like I'm completely attached to my comics anymore. And I'm quite happy then to go to, to new homes. So uh, I know, and I'll probably in a few years' time, I will have uh, seller's regret because that does come in. But I think at the moment, it's, it's going quite well. I've been doing a few sort of comic marts and comic conventions where I'm selling comics. Uh, Amanda has come along to help me, bless her soul. Um, yeah, so it's. it's, it's yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's and it's going really well at the moment. I have to say, I'm quite busy. It's usually about once or twice a month I'm out there uh, selling selling comics, and of course, still got my website, which uh, <laughs> is out there, jasonbargercomics.com. Uh, please You've not added anything for months. You know, I got I, I've got a funny feeling, mate. I'm going to have to um, have a proper go over it because. I think I've sold some comics that I've actually still got on my website to remain. Oh, so I'm going to have to get rid of them. I don't want people buy, double buying. So I'm really got to. Let really me know, man. I'll take all your stock off and then. Might be an idea, mate, and we'll go through it, but it's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, but apart um, from that, yeah, it's going good, mate. That's good. I mean, um, I think it was last end of last month, was it, that I went to Hereford with you and, That's right. and this guy here, T Ty, uh, he was yes. there. Is. Like we're all selling. Um, yeah. We had For a, those at I, home, he doesn't really look like that in that profile no, picture. He, he wishes. He wishes. Mm. Um, I'll always remember that little cheeky wink that he did when somebody was handing over all this cash. It, might, it literally made me laugh so much. <laughs> yeah. It's almost as if to say, I've, I've taken all their money. They're about to come to you now, but they've got yeah. no money left. Yeah. 
Hello, it's great. That, was, that yeah. was hilarious. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for joining us, Ty. Um, yeah, but I mean, I had a fantastic day um, selling there. I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do. Um, I actually made about £720. Wow, that's really good. Which is pretty good. Um, and it really massively helped towards getting me a certain book. Oh, which... right, yes. Now, I know about this book, and I won't tell, say what it is. No spoilers, because I know you're going to be doing a video on it, aren't you? Yeah. But it's, it's um... probably... Probably one of your grails, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's um what is the it's a copper age grail, is it? It's like probably the copper age grail. Yeah, definitely. I think I so. think people might be able Good. to get that title, but um thank you, um Gordon, for joining us and Mr. Collector one two three. Yeah, if you could hit that like button, that'd be great. Thank you, uh thank you, Mr. Yeah, and also while you're there, if you could hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed, that'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah, that, that'd be great um yeah but um that that day was fantastic and i know mm. you've you've done well again today you've you've, you've done you've, in, was it newport was it today? N yesterday? newport yesterday yes yeah did really well there i uh, took probably about 1300 pounds uh, but that was based on a big sale that uh my friend mr tits he's known as um he bought a comic from me an amazing spider-man number 50 Oh, first um, kingpin, yeah. First kingpin, yeah. and uh, he had all the money there, all, all all there ready for me, and he said, "Have you uh, have you got the book?" I went, "Oh no," and I forgot <laughs> it. I can't believe it. I felt so bad. So, Luke, I'm very sorry, mate. Um, I I'm coming to Hereford on Saturday, and I will hand deliver it. Or if you want, I will post it to you, special delivery. Um, so I naturally I took his money, but didn't give him the book. Oh well. So, You've got to be doing it. it's a bit like Argos, aren't you? you? Take the money and you've got to wait for the uh, yeah, product to come. yeah. I feel felt ter I felt terrible, but um, he, <laughs> he's such a nice guy, so um, yeah, that's it. Uh, there was um, I don't know if you saw it recently, there was a video done by a guy called I think he's called Collector Dad or Collectible Dad, right? And um, or Dad Collector, one of these things, and he did a video on. Uh, why do YouTubers, comic book YouTubers lie? Something like oh, that. And it's okay. basically going after, well, it's not really going after, but it's basically just saying just be wary of um, YouTubers who sell comics because oh. they'll be like, I'm not I, I'm not aiming this at you because you're not, I wouldn't say that you're in this category because you aren't, mm. um, what's the word? Um, you're not bringing out your own books and saying you've got to buy this as a top right, 10. Okay. Oh, oh, like, right, okay. Or like manipulating certain, the market sort of thing. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. It's aimed at those, those YouTubers, the bigger ones. So, but I mean, it, it's a crazy thing, like in terms of the word influence, because I get, I mean, I'm. A, I would never say that I'm an influencer, or I wouldn't even say that yourself is an influencer or whatever. But to a certain degree, we do influence people when we show off stuff. Mm. Like, yeah. no, but we're only showing off stuff that we've got. You know, look at this. We've got this. You know, we're not going go out and buy these now. No, what we're, we're doing, doing, we're flexing, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. So, and, um... and that causes. I mean, I've, there's plenty of times where I've seen stuff on Instagram or on YouTube where I've gone. You know what? I really want that, and I'll go out and buy it because mm. I've seen it. I've not, yeah. you know, it's raised uh, my awareness of it. Also, there is perhaps some books out there that people weren't aware of, and by showing them that it's it's piqued yeah. their interest, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, and sometimes when we say the price and what we got it for, it perhaps gives them, um, you know, some hope that well, okay, it's not as expensive as I thought. Maybe yeah. if I shop around, I can get it at that price. And why not? Yeah. You know, comic the comic uh, market. It's coming down, isn't it? The prices are, um, well, I suppose they're kind, they're kind of plateauing a little bit now, but they're definitely coming down at sort of pre-COVID levels, really. Yeah, no, um, well, the market is definitely a buyer's market at the moment. Oh, um, completely, completely. I mean, that, that grail that I've recently bought, had this been a year or two ago. Yeah, unattainable, I really. I would be getting a much lower grade, much, mm. much lower. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I like Tyrone's comment. Yeah, I was going to say he's called it, called it. Called yeah, it. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly who the 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 video is aimed at. But 
they, they are market manipulators, in my opinion, as well. Um, Definitely. Not... There's too much conflict of interest, mate, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, they're all sort of hand in hand with each other. Key collector comics. And, uh, and the thing is, you do, do you really know? How can they say for certain that, for, for instance, this is the top ten? I yeah, know, I, know. I know they're going off eBay sold and you know heritage and all that, you know. But it, it, if they've got a lot of that stock or you know those particular books or yeah. Yeah, that they could be like. Let's just throw that in this week. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Abs absolutely. And and unless you've got a lot of time time on your hands, you're not likely to double check. You know, and and I think a lot of people put their faith in people like Comic Tom and Jim. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, to be and, fair, he's um he's a likable guy. I mean, uh, especially yeah, yeah. during the pandemic, we, we were constantly checking the top ten. Yeah, because we wanted to see what our it wasn't to go out and buy stuff, but it was like to see was, see how how much value our comics had gone up in. Yeah, it? yeah. Um, yeah. But you know, it's one. But of now them, it's yeah. like it's just going down, and I'm crying all the time. It is, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, do you want to um, do the first comic cover? You reckon you can? Yeah, play? yeah. Okay. I'm really looking forward to this, guys. Please play at home as well on this. Yeah, have um, a guess, guys. Um, have a guess. So I think the idea is, James, you're, you're going to call up a close-up of a cover of a, yeah. a, a, a fairly well-known comic book. I oh, know, so these are totally obscure, mate. You're, oh, uh, mate, forget it. To get these. No, I'm forget joking. It. They're all really, right. really, really um, popular or famous. Well, well I'm going to look right. really stupid now then, aren't I? If, I, if, if I you don't, don't get, get it, it. Yeah, mate, you're gonna, everyone's going to question your, um, your knowledge, mate, to be honest. Hey, James um, T. Giggins just joined us. Hey, hey. Hey -o. Hey -o. Oh, right, this is the, this is the first comment. All right, James, how you doing, buddy? Um, oh, James, why are you watching, mate? Do you want to play Hell Divers Two with me someday? Oh, that's on PS Five. Really good game. But um, Hell Divers, right? Is that um, a free game? Is it or is it? Um... No, it's basically um, it's not. It's a relatively cheap game, mate. But it's basically. It's, do you remember the old film um, Starship Troopers? Yeah, yeah, my, one of my favourite movies. Mate, the, the game is literally like Starship Troopers. All oh, right, okay, cool. So it, you just get dropped in and you got like a mission to do. you got 40 minutes, got all these bugs and you just got to just, yeah, you get all these things that, like airstrikes and stuff to drop down and it's, just, it's incredible. Right, I'm interested in that. Right, let's go. Okay, mate, right. So this book, it's relatively... It's a it's a it's a grey old book, mate. It's a big 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 old book. <laughs> I feel I feel for. Do you know what I hate about this? Is that <laughs> I would love to do this game. I know you That's... love this game. You love this game, um... but you right? Okay. Can I have a clue? Can I have a clue? Can I have a clue? It's a first appearance. Flip a neck, mate. I, 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 I want to say. Maybe 1973 or 1974. Well, it's, it's Marvel. It's Marvel, isn't it? Ma Marvel, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, Marvel. Okay. Um, see, that there, that chap, he looks like a, a, an Indian, but he's firing a, some sort of gun. But <laughs> uh, it's, it's not a Western cover or anything, mate. Right, okay. I think it's just the cover because there's fire involved. That looks like that's fire at the bottom, yeah. Are you able to zoom out a little bit? Uh, no, this is just a, a, a snapshot of the... Snapshot. I got you right. Okay. First, guys, help me out at home, please. Is anyone in, really the, in the chat, though? Um, oh, um, first appearance, 1973 to 1973. Oh, is it um, Marvel Premiere? No, it's, it's very close to Marvel Premiere. Marvel Spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting very, very close. Well, Marvel Spotlight Five is is um, it's not. I don't think it's Marvel Spotlight Five because that's uh, Ghost Rider, isn't it? Are you, are you having a guess at that, Jay? Or no? Well, someone's put Marvel Spotlight Five. Oh well, are they right? That's that is is that the correct answer? Let's have a look. It's Marvel Spotlight Five. Well done. Holy wow! That's amazing, think, mate. But but it's probably maybe the clues. Yeah, maybe. but here's here's the thing, right? 
I I see this picture, sorry, this comic as just mainly black. So the yeah. fact that there was no black on there really messed Threw with my off. head a little bit. Yeah, because you yeah. probably thought that was the edge of the. Yeah, I, I thought it was the bottom right hand corner, a bottom left hand yeah. corner. Yeah, that's what I thought, and I thought I couldn't, I couldn't see what it was. It was. But oh well, well, well done, Mister Collector. One, two, well three. Done, buddy. Good job on that there, one. Mate. Um, right, okay. Let's get there. Ah, oh, this is. Look, give me an easy one, mate. Please don't make an me look easy stupid. One. Well, you should oh, get the next one, mate. I think um, I may have some of um my extended family watching today. Oh, so, so it's a bit uh, embarrassing if you don't get any. Well, yeah, absolutely. So I want to say hello to all of Steph's family. So um, oh, and say hello, hello to Gareth hello, and go hello. hello. Hello, thank you, thank you for thank joining. You for watching. Your, yeah, for yeah. Um, Please feel free to leave a comment if you want to. I mean, they may have said, "Yeah, we'll watch you," and then as soon as I walked out the door, they just laughed. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> you know. So uh, you know, we'll see what happens. See. They're probably um, they're probably sat on your channel waiting for a, a live video to pop. Oh up yeah, I, I, yeah. Okay. I, I I sent them a link. They, they you know, hopefully they click the link. Yeah. Rather than be right. on my channel, but let's do the next one, right? Okay, we'll, we'll do. T I've, I think I've got six in total, so we'll do two. Have a break, get yourself refreshed, talk about <laughs> them, do some research. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> research your comic covers, mate, and um, Flipping we'll see. How, we'll I, I see do how like you know. it though. I do like this, but it's um okay. This should be, mate. You should get this straight away. Marvel is is this X Men? Yes. Is it for, is it X Men one? Which one? Oh, Mister Collector's just said it's giant size X Men number one, isn't it? Yeah, a couple of people got it straight away. Yeah, it flip is, yeah. an egg. That was I thought that was I knew that was too easy, but the the reason for this one was mm. um. I thought right. it could probably segue into uh, it's um, very nicely moved an, in a, another conversation, but it is it's, it is giant size X Men. Congratulations, Mister Mister Collector got both of them both really quick and Bikerman got it as well. To be fair, Bikerman, yeah, yeah. Um, Ty has asked, "How big is that pint glass, Jace? Oh yeah, cheers, cheers, buddy. As big as my head. Is is, is that one? Pint or is that two? That's I think that's it's a Stein. What's a Stein? Is that like a pint and a half? Sounds two German pints? to me, mate. Is that German? Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to Google. Well, how, how many how many beers are in a Stein? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you to do that, mate. But um, yeah, congratulations, those two. Um, so X Men One. I mean, I don't know if anyone's seen recently. Um, there was a bit of. Uh, I'll probably say controversy to be honest in the in the comic community because CGC have in fact graded a X Men Giant Size X Men one in a nine point nine. I mean, how how do you feel about that, Mister Parker? I have to wonder, mate, with a book that age, what nineteen seventy five? Okay, it, it's nearly fifty it's years old. Nearly fifty years old. How a book can survive that long? White pages for a start, right? But yep. not just a nine point eight, a nine point nine. That a nine point nine is a for me a book that's literally just come off the press. Yeah, not touched by human hands. Yep. Yeah, because the acid on the fingerprints. Yeah, um, and just it must have been hermetically sealed somewhere in a darkened room, and just left yep. there, and then opened. You know, how is that possible, mate? My only, the, my only guess is that this was graded previously at a nine point eight. Yeah, I get uh, that. I, get I that. don't know how long ago it was graded, um, uh, and that they've had it pressed and cleaned. Do you think? Pr pressed and cleaned, might certainly, yeah. But uh, I think CGC have been a bit generous. Yeah. yeah. Um, God, uh, nine point nine. So, what's the value of that then, mate? I don't have a clue. I re I I mean we'll we'll find out. It's up for auction. Oh, is it? It's yeah, it's the first of its kind, isn't it? When you think about it. It is. So. Uh, I, I've never seen a nine point nine in no, in a key book like this. Yeah. Um in any in any book. It is, I, I believe, 
for auction on Comic Connect. Um, funny enough, Comic Connect is where I've recently purchased my Grail. Ah. So uh, it's my first time purchasing with them. And they, are, to be honest, they were extremely professional. Um, but, yeah, uh, I mean, I think the people, there's conspiracy theories flying around, you know, because it's been submitted by a a big company for grading cgc of you know i don't know i mean that's that's an incredible incredible grade for yeah. such an old book uh, and tyrone points out there that uh they're saying that it could be the first one million copper age book it, it, but the problem is mate it's bringing down the 9.8 and well it's bringing no, down no. all the, all the yeah. lower copies yeah I know. Isn't it? Let's be honest. Well, it will do. It has a knock-on effect, mate. It's a domino effect for everyone. Ima know, imagine so. if you had a nine put out of that. I, how annoyed? Well, well, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. The thing, thing is, you'd be you'd be getting it cracked and sent off and pressed and hoping for a nine point nine, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, my luck would come back as nine point six. But um, here's the thing, mate. I mean, this. I'd like to think that this would not come up very often. No. This is a this. I'd like to think this is a one-off, you know. Yeah. But if we start seeing more of these appearing and other key books as nine point nines, then something has changed at CGC. Yeah, that, that, to to be honest, it's not really they're not really as reputable as they have been. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens with this with this auction. James Keegan has said that the nine point eight normally goes for twenty five thousand dollars. Right, you'd be looking at a hundred over a hundred k maybe. Stupid mm. enough, money. Yeah, um, but if it's going to be in an auction, I mean, there's enough interest. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You could have people clambering way over that figure, you know. But what, here's the thing. I mean, I don't know if anyone has seen um, Ryan from Automatic Comics did a a, vid a really good video on this, and I watched it um the other day and he basically looked at the book in like front and back covers zoomed in had a look and zoomed james it. james keegan's pointed out there's a color break on the side uh it's Where am fact, I? I'll, I'll i'll show you but basically it's 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 just do you know because the staples um because it's, it's a square band book isn't it? it's thick yeah book, yes it? thick book so you can you can see where the staples pushing against and where there's been color rub i'll, I'll see if i can oh, nice. get it on this picture I'm hoping it can. So you oh, see this? You can see. This, white, this there's a white there. mark there. Just there. The Colour red, isn't it? That, yeah, that is... Um, How the hell is that a 9.9, .9, mate? Well, exactly. How is that a 9.9? .9? Straight away. Well, it's got missing colour because that green's gone, isn't it? That green and black there. It can't, can't be a 9.9. .9. It has to be m minimum 9. Point, maximum 9.8. Maximum. You know, I, I look. I had um, a book called um, Star Wars Annual Number Two. I think it was. But you can see uh, where the other staple is just here as well, and there's you yeah. see where the black. It's missing just there. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's faded, isn't it? Yeah. But um, are they? I mean, even if it's a. So, so when I submitted this book, the Star Wars book, it was a John Tyler Christopher um, Darth Vader, and it was like a red background oh, and nice, black yeah. sort of silhouette of Darth Vader. Um, and it did have the red... Um, so it had white marks by the staples where there was colour up, right? Yeah. And I sent a... a I attached an, uh, a post-it, and I said that this is a common defect with this book because it's, cause it's a thicker book. Uh, please can you take this into consideration? And book came back as a 9.8. Yeah. And I was shocked. But for me, a 9.9, .9, if it's um, a manufacturing defect, right, then you should only be able to get a 9.8. I don't see how you can get a 9.9, .9, especially with so much color up there, mate, in that green. I know. I know. Oh, my God. But the, but the thing is, it... it, it is someone buying that for the book? Are they buying it for the grade? They're, well, they're buying it for the grade, aren't they? Yeah. Because to um, me, that doesn't look like it's pristine. Not with that colour. No, no, um, no. I mean, to be fair, the uh, most of the corners look quite sharp. But look down the bottom right-hand corner, mate. So, uh, 
that looks rounded to me. Um, I don't oh, know if I it's just the reflection from that. Let's have a zoom yeah, in maybe. I mean, it's not it's not a perfect book, is it, mate? No, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look great. Look at some pages aren't sticking out there. I mean, I know. So Ryan, in his video, in this submission, it looked like they submitted two. Right. And, um, they got a 9.8 on the other one. And I think from Ryan's video, the 9.8 looked better than 9.9. Jeez. So the corners, it's definitely the corners, I think. But Do you think if that book was resubmitted again, they would come back to 9.8? I think there's a high, very high chance of that happening. Yeah. I think I'd, I I'd think probably so say there's in, in the 90% chances that that will come back. But a book like this, mate, right, especially with that grade, will have gone through quality control, wouldn't it? Yeah. So someone must have looked at it and gone, right, we've got to make sure that this is right, that, you know, and gone, you know, really scrutinised it. Yeah. And and they must have agreed with the graders and gone, right, yeah, okay, let's make a 9.9 .9 white pager. Yep. Mint. Yeah. Mint. And to be fair as well, re CGC recently announced they've acquired mm. JSA. For yeah. signature verification, yeah, purposes. yeah. So yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I, ha I haven't heard anything officially from CGC, but they apparently are these going to be like red labels. I don't know, mate. I don't know how they because they're certainly I don't know. Can't be, they can't be yellow. They can't be green. Would it would, be it, would it be yellow though, and say ver a verified rather than witnessed? A bit like what know, CGC has to. I, I think there's a. The yellow label is um, it, it, it's, it's symbolic, isn't it, of that yeah. being witnessed? Mm. Um, and that was the one thing that CBC has had over CGC was the verification service, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I know. I mean, that's the only times really I've submitted to CBCS, and that was for signature verification. So. Interestingly, I've got a, a Batman Dam number one that's been signed. Oh yeah, but I the couldn't Batwang. send it the Batwang, yeah. but I wasn't able to send it to CBCS because they do not do verification of um, uh, magazine size comics. Oh okay, so they don't have the slabs for magazines, and I couldn't send it to CGC because it would have got a green label. Yeah, but now, but now I can potentially send it. Yeah. Although the value of the book now is worth pennies <laughs> at the time I when mean, it was going yeah. for like 150 I was, there's no, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a note to say the first appearance of Batman's Wang Willy, yeah, Batman's Willy, the Bat Wang, um, Bat -wang yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, CBCS, yeah, be, do, that, they've got to be annoyed by that, surely, yeah. Uh, what's the what's the reaction been in the comic community? I haven't really been following that. Um, I think everyone. I've only really seen memes about it. I haven't really seen anyone talk really big about it. But I think people are people are people are moaning at CGC anyway. It's lost a bit of reputation. Standard, isn't it? Standard, yeah, yeah. Um, but then the people will still be throwing cash at getting this done. I think um, I, I heard um, I watched the video on it the other day. Somebody was talking about um, CGC as a company where they were saying that the the like this nine point nine the whole lawsuit thing with the switched out books um, buying the uh, buying JSA for the signature verification. This is this is the signs of a, a company. Um, not struggling financially, but trying to claw back some yeah. reputation. Yeah, well, the reputation, and they've probably had to pay out quite a bit of money in compensation for all the yeah. people that have been affected by the, the, the scammer as well. Yeah. So they've and lost quite a bit of money there. Yeah, definitely, buddy. Definitely, buddy. Um, James Keegan has put, I'm excited I can finally get my signed video games graded. Right. Yeah. So, that's good mm. news for you, James. That's really good news. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, right, okay. So let's close that down. Oh, that Legion of Comics. <laughs> he says looks like a 10 to me. I know. Thank <laughs> you for joining us, Legion. Thank you for Yeah, time. thank you, buddy. 
Should we go ahead with the next book then, if anyone wants to have a guess? Come on then. All right, Jash, you've got to oh, get this. Oh, it's embarrassing, mate. It's embarrassing. I don't, um, Agent Smith, um, Mr. Anderson. Um, I, Mr. Anderson. I, I think um, it was. It, is it Beckett? Is it BSA? Beckett, is it? Is it? Beckett. I think they're the, still the like the premier, you know, verification. Yeah, the, the, the ones to go you know, to, apparently. Yeah, yeah. They've got a massive um, like database or catalogue of signatures and whatnot. Yeah, and they started a while back, didn't they, as well, with their database? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but what they did have that thing a few years ago with the Sarah Pacelli. <laughs> oh, do you remember that? That guy, that yeah. idiot on YouTube. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I've not seen him since. What's, what is his, what was his name? Oh, mate, <sighs> comic, comic dose, comic dose, was it Gregory? G Gregory, yeah, Gregoire, no. or it's someone that, yeah. Um, I don't yeah. know what, what he was thinking. He came under so much fire. And yeah. then he, you know, he promised some more videos that were going to be like this. And then he ended up getting like 20 views or something on his on Yeah. That one, that one yeah. video went bonkers, didn't it? Yeah, his video went bonkers because obviously it was, it was a negative video, wasn't it? So well, it was a negative it. video, but, you know, it, it adversely affected um, um, Tim's, Tim. Tim's business, didn't it, as well? Yeah. Because Tim yeah, was the yeah. person that submitted the book, yeah. Um, so and they're, they're good people as well. So it's it's just yeah, a, yeah. But I mean, that was his way of getting it around it. Because if he submitted it directly, he, for uh, those who don't know what we're talking about, there was a chap that faked the signature of Sarah Bertilli, yeah. uh on um, a, a crappy Fantastic Four book, wasn't it? it wasn't it? It was it was an awful book. Yeah, it was. It, it wasn't even a key book. No. And um, I think that probably swayed any sort of, you know, doubt in the person verifying it. Why Why would somebody mm -hmm. get this comic? Why would somebody pay the money to get this book verified? verified. When the book is uh, worth and, like, uh, and not only that, but get it in the slab, doesn't it? You know, it's yeah, like, getting it slabbed, verified, slabbed. And also non, the fact non -book. that if you look at her signature over the years, I don't think she had a consistent Signature. She did. She didn't, and I think it was sort of pointed out to her. I think that she needed to be more consistent with her signature placement and yeah, and how she wrote her signature. Because yeah, you're right. There were I remember seeing like four or five different signatures, and each one looked different. Yeah, well, we so, did a video on it, didn't we? Where we talked mm, about it, and we brought up the different yeah. signatures. Um, I mean that. I mean partly that's why we're doing tonight because we kind of missed the good old days, which were. Mm. Probably only a couple of years ago, but it seems like yeah, I know. Shane Kevin's not here, really. I know. Ho hopefully, he can join us for a little bit, but um, fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. So, Jay, are you ready for this next book? No, but we'll go ahead anyway. You sure? Let me have some more beer. Hang on. Go and have another sip. Now, this is an easy one. Don't say that, mate. Oh, uh, X Men. Um, hang on, it's not Dover, is it? Um, no, oh. uh, see, I kind of pick books right that yeah. are a bit on theme with what's going on in the world and in in, in media. Is it involved Trump? No, no, you're right, you're right with an X Men book, okay? Yeah, so I'm sure that this is, um. Is this first, like, first bishop or something, or first... I, I'm telling you something now. Mr. Collector is on fire. Oh, what's he got? 2-2-1. What, what one yeah. is it? Boy Command as well. First Mr. Sinister. Shit. They're, mate, they're on fire. They're, they're, you, mate, get him on your channel and let me watch from home. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So, here we go. That's amazing. Well done, guys. 2 2 one first appearance of... Um, I've got that what, book what, as well. It? I've got it. Something Essex, isn't it? Essex. Uh, something Essex. Uh, first oh, yeah. Book. Yeah. Um, I want to say it's Nathaniel Essex, but I don't think it is yeah, Nathaniel. But it's, it's in the cartoon as well, isn't it? Well, that's, the cartoon. that's what brings me back to this, is because he he was in um, X-Men 97, wasn't he, the cartoon? Yeah. You watched it, yeah. I haven't, mate, but do you know what? 
uh, I'm saving them and I'm going to binge them because I was such a fan of the original series. I, I tell um, you what, buddy, um, I've really been impressed. Really? Yeah. Really. It, it's the animation style the same as well? Because I like that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously a bit more updated, but yeah, it's um, I think they've I think they've kept they've tried to keep to it as truly as possible. Right, that's good. And obviously, it's the same voice actors, pro mostly. Um, now I heard on the grapevine that there's um a basketball scene or something in one of the episodes. And that episode. basketball scene is in X Men number four, which is the first appearance of, of Omega Red. Omega Red. You can't, but I mean, it could happen, mate. It could. Um... You know, I've been watching it, so I only saw what someone um, uh, someone mentioned. Yeah, I don't. The... I don't think. I think that must be the trailer for the next episode. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So, um, hold on, Jace. Are you, are you on your phone? Are you? Uh, on on the camera? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Give me. Like, um, what you, did you want me to do something? Kevin's just messaged me. It's after the link, so I'm just going to send it to him. So. Oh yeah, yeah. No worries. So, um, I'm, I'm. I'll just come off camera for one second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, guys, I'll uh, keep you stringing along for a little bit. Let's examine James's hand a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can see how many cords you can see in my hand. Uh, 12. 12, 12, 12 balls. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, look out here. Uh, the good news is, guys, we've got Kevin all the way from Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, is he? Oh, no, he's not here. Oh, no. He's in the, he's in the um, chat. And he'll be joining us very shortly. I, I, I believe I didn't get that X Men. I've got that book as well, that X Men 221. Uh, graded or? No. No, it's just in my pile of books. Oh, I've got to get the, cap, the old camera back on going. That's okay. Keep it like that if you like me. It's much better. I bet it is. Right. Um, how do I get my camera back? Um, just at the bottom. Put, you've got stop cam or high cam, is it? I mean, there you are. You're back again. Um, yeah, but that's my, that's not the right camera that's I've got. Oh gosh. Camo, camo too. Anyway, um, you've sent him the link of your old boy. Yeah, that's not the right camera, but we'll I'm try and get that. Um, yeah, I've sent him the link just now, so hopefully you'll marvelous, be marvelous. You'll probably message back saying it's not working. Oh, uh, don't. The thing is, I'm wondering when the last time you went on StreamYard, because you've got all these different settings as well, haven't you? Yeah. So that's always good fun. Uh, it took me about 12 minutes to work out, because it's changed as well. So. Anyway. I know. Um, I can't believe how white my beard is. What's going on? Right, I might have to... Um... Oh, here is Kev. Get ready. Here he is, that handsome son of a gun. Oh, no sound. sound. No sound. <laughs> Where is he? Okay, can you hear us? Can you hear me now? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, right. Oh my god. <laughs> Here he is. Look who it is. In the flesh. What is oh, up, fellas? Yeah, yeah but I've missed you so much. I miss you guys. Oh, Mate. Man. We we were saying earlier like this was whole the whole thing was created because we just missed hanging out. I know, I know. Oh, I miss man. you fellas as well. I mean, it's been about uh, easily over a year, mate, since we chatted. I'm sure online <laughs> over a year. That's crazy. <laughs> you've been you've been busy with your your new job and everything. Well, when did you start doing that? When did that come into effect? Uh, I started doing that uh, in September. So not the last September, the September before. Yeah. So I, it's well over a year, mate, since we've yeah. been chatted. Oh. Yeah. Been busy, man. Uh, yeah. Busy not doing YouTube either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kev, do you think you'll ever come back to doing YouTube or? No, I'm not coming back. I am not. I am not coming back to YouTube. 
I've um, so if um, if anybody is watching, um, my brother is has started his YouTube channel, which is about fighting uh, fighting games and the fighting game community. And so um, I've actually been focused on helping him with that. We lost James. I don't know where James That's went. Keep ignoring. Um, <laughs> and so I've actually been having more fun doing that than I did with my own YouTube channel. And I think that's because I'm not doing everything. Right. I got you. And I because actually, you did the editing, you did everything, didn't you? Yeah. So I'm just focusing on production with his stuff and editing. I'm not coming up with the material or the content. I'm not going in front of the camera and right. I've actually explored new things and learned new things in the process so it's actually made me a better person when it came into video production wise oh well that's good that's really good do you feel that there's probably less pressure on you as well yeah no totally and um his channel is growing so fast and it goes to show you how many more people are into video games than comic books <laughs> yeah yeah and um yeah. He gets a lot of the same comments that that I did, you know, like this the production value is so awesome with oh, his channel good. and such. So he, I might have missed it, but is he doing it at your Yeah, work? he's doing it oh, at the studio. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's harder to one of the one of the other reasons of me not doing YouTube anymore is because I am the boss of the studio and you know I don't want to be doing recording shows for me. And then my my board of directors seeing that and that causing problems as well. So conflict of interest and all that, I suppose. Mate. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that 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 was another reason. But I was just so burnt out from YouTube, and yeah, uh, I, I just felt like that there were other people doing it better than me at the time, or giving out better content, which also led me to kind of just walk away. Right. Oh, well, it's a shame because I thought you, you again, your production values are amazing. You, 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 I always watched you religiously, yep. and you were the one that got me recognized, mate. To be honest with you, Sorry. when I first started, you were the very first person to give me a shout out. And yeah. if it wasn't for you, I don't think I'd be where I am today. I genuinely mean that. So I just want to say thank you for all that. And it's, you know, you've got to do what, what makes you happy at the end of the day. Yeah, um, yeah, I know. But from I, a selfish I, perspective, we're going to miss you, man. There's yeah. times where I miss it, but um, it's so funny. And I've been getting a asked a lot lately about if I was coming back because I think it's been a little over a year. And someone mm. recently commented, too. I've been getting messages on Instagram, and I've gotten comments on, on the YouTube channel. And one person commented saying, like, where did this guy go? Like, what, what happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> so I just had to reply, like, no, like, I'm still around. You can follow me. Yeah, on I didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, let's see. I was on my brother's YouTube channel. Uh, we were doing a live thing, and I was wearing a Superpower Review sweatshirt. And I guess someone, one of my subscribers, was watching it it was like he's wearing the sweatshirt that means he's coming back yeah. <laughs> oh, man. subtle hints but it's not just not not the case like no it's just a really cool sweatshirt <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kevin, i did i did see you on another channel the other last week maybe or the week before you were on uh the guy I, 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 apologies for i can't remember the name of the channel but he bought I think he got like an ISM three one six. Oh yeah, uh, Will the Comic Beast. Yeah, that's it. The Comic Beast. Yeah. That's yeah, it. he's he's a cool kid. Um, yeah, no, like I, I would love to still make appearances, and I I, I know I have made less appearances, but uh, I will still gladly do that whenever I have the time. I feel mm -hmm. bad because uh, Paul Cook always asked me to come on to do uh, his uh, what's that key. But it's like oh, just yeah. on a on a weekday, and it's so late for me. And usually, I have meetings to do with work and such. But um, but I don't know. I'm around. I'm on Instagram. I've been so. I will say. I will segue and say that I've been having a lot of fun making the short Instagram reels. They they literally take me less than a half hour to do, maybe even fifteen minutes, and I just have fun doing that. 
Yeah, Matt, the, well, the, the, again, the production value of them are really good as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you've got a you've got a good thing going. Well, I guess I guess it helps when you when you know what you're doing, and this is something that you do all you, you know as a living. So, no, really so we've got James thing. Keegan asking, "What is the name of your brother's YouTube channel?" Uh, so it's called the Button Club, and uh, um, so every week, my brother and the club run a video game tournament every Monday uh, in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. In case if anyone is around in the area who plays street fighter uh guilty gear strive and let's see uh, oh when tekken tekken just came out so uh, so anyone who's interested in competing uh ca casuals are free so it's from six to eight and the bracket starts at eight o'clock so All that's right. been fun so is there like prize money involved in this as well? Yeah, there is prize money involved. So everybody, not much. I, I saw I won first place uh, a couple of weeks ago and I came home with $30. So. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. But it's the kudos, isn't it? It's not the, it's yeah. not the money. Yeah, no, the money's it's, nice. It's that's to say I, I won first place. So, so um, I don't want to break stuff. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this without any casualties. So here's like the first time I uh, I placed and I won six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I got it framed as well. That's quality. Th third place. So, well, you know, it is a it is a big achievement. So um, my brother and I, um, besides comic books, have always when it came to video games for us, it always came to fighting games. That has always mm -hmm. been our niche. Mm -hmm. And so, and we've always been competitive with one another, of course, for that brother brotherly rivalry, right? And so, every time a new fighting game comes out, we we would always see who's the best, right? And uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, when Street Fighter came out, Street Fighter Six, um, this is the first time I took a Street Fighter game seriously. And you know, to people who don't know about fighting games. You probably just like, well, you mash a bunch of buttons and whoever dies yeah. first dies first. But mm -hmm. there's just so much to it. And the best way I can describe it is for me, it's like fast paced chess. And so you do a lot of things to trap your opponent to or or you you try to make them do things so you can get another thing on them. And so it's just a huge mental mind game. It's not just mm -hmm. about, you know, mashing a button and, and killing your opponent. It There is a strategy to it. Yeah. That's um, that's um, that's very impressive. To be fair, Mike, that you um, how much do you have to pay to enter it? It's uh, ten bucks. Okay, so you can potentially um, triple your money. Triple your money, yeah. Um, the controller, yeah. I want to show the guys the controller they play on. Oh, is that the big? Um, have you got a special yeah. one? Yeah. So thank you. Uh, so this is um, whoa, this is what oh, I play on. Uh, yeah. Hold up, Kev, I'll make you big, but I. Yeah, sure. Make you big. So this is uh, the peripheral that I play on. This is a leverless controller, an arcade fight controller. Uh, this is made by Victrix. And this is the top-notch like fighting controller that you can play on right now. Um, so all these buttons do different things, of course. So if you look at it, I don't know if you can get it with the lighting. So yeah, it's got the yeah. arrows... Oh yeah, and yeah. yeah. Got the You've got a controller. You've got buttons. No joysticks anymore. Uh, so no, yeah, people still play on on um, joysticks. It's called a it's called a fight stick, um, or an arcade fight stick. So Ryan, my brother, plays on both of them. Um, he, I have convinced him to play on leverless. This is what it's called because there's no lever. Um, and the reason why I use this because. The stick can get a little harder sometimes because you have to hit things right in the right angle. And I feel like with the buttons, there's just less human error for me. Yeah, okay. So, so that's why I play with that. So, um, and so um, these buttons didn't come with the controller. These are different buttons uh, that I replaced it with. These are called Quamba gravity buttons. So if you hear it, they're kind of quiet. They're not yeah. as loud. And that's just so opponents don't hear me what buttons I'm pressing. Wow. Oh, it's wow. The, that is like proper. Yeah. Proper serious gaming then. It's it like, is, right. That's crazy. So, um, poker face, isn't it? I'm going to. Yeah, it, it kind of is like that. So I'm going to open the back of it for you guys because like the back of it is like 
So it's Ken, like open. it yeah. says the Button Club on the front. Is that yeah. the the venue that you do your? Yes, yeah, that's that's what we do on. Um, that's it's just a sticker. Yeah. So and yeah, that's so cool. this is called a Victrix Pro FS, and some people still play on a PlayStation pad. That's fine, but it's mm -hmm. super confusing the way that it's laid out. Mm -hmm. um, I think some the people who can still play it on on a PS5 pad is not so. This is what it looks like inside. It kind of looks like a like the hood of a lamp. Right. Wow. wow. That's like it, it's like looking inside a car. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, confusing. So yeah, this is what I play on. Uh, not a cheap piece of equipment to to play video games on. <laughs> yeah, that's proper specialist stuff, that isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and like so, like it's kind of cool what you can do with them. Like, so there's not like a lot of customization you can do to this one, except for the buttons. But that's the most important thing. But yeah. people really like to customize it to, you know, have like a skin on it. And I don't really care. So it's just as long as it gets the job done. It's very, very efficient. It's very active, and I don't know. It's 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 definitely cool. So my brother has one just like it. We we kind of got them together because after we played on it with the other um, controllers that we had, we were like, this is the best thing. This is like the, the it, with how much money it is. And you're like, God damn, like that's a lot of money for a controller, but with it's, it's totally worth it, especially if you're competing. Yeah. How much yeah. is it? If you don't mind me asking, but yeah. So brand new, it costs $400. Wow. Um, Ooh. I did not buy mine brand new. I found mine used on eBay for two fifty. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that's good. It might, it looks brand new to me, even though you've yeah. been smashing away at that thing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and it has LED lights in it too. So, like, um, in here, like it has LEDs. Um, so it, it glows purple. You can change the colors on it if you want. It so, looks you like can have, oh, isn't it? This, the size of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it's, it's the same size and it weighs about the same as the PlayStation. Wow. So, so it, We've got a couple of questions. Sorry to um. No, sure. Uh, Andy, hello, Andy. Thank you for joining us, buddy. Um, hey, Andy. How are you, buddy? Having a channel and doing shows is a hard slog. Thank, thankful for the friendships that is created. Definitely, that is. Mm. Uh, there couldn't be anything more truthful than that, Andy. One hundred percent. The friendship that I've got with you guys, I'll, I'll always forever hold that in my um in no. my heart. So. Same, Absolutely. same. Yeah. What he said, whatever. Yeah, and Kev, exactly what Jason said about with you, like meeting you via this and you giving him a shout out and stuff. You did exactly the same for me and Mikey. So we wouldn't be anywhere where we are today without yourself. So yeah, no worries, yeah. guys. I, I I did that because you know when I first got into YouTube, um, I feel like the comic community was very much in its infancy and. You know, going through the ranks, it was kind of hard for me to get, you know, somewhere or some people to actually know who I was. So I didn't want other new YouTube channels to go through the same thing. Yeah. No, no. It was a commendable thing you did, buddy. Thank you very much. Um, so Ty has put, I presume this is aimed at you, Kevin. If you've let the love for comics, if you have let... Left, that might be lost left. love for comics. Would the comics of these games keep you interested if Kev is not collecting them already? Uh, so, so I think I'm understanding the question. So if I am not interested in comics, is gaming my new thing? Is that is that what I'm getting yeah, at? Yeah, or, or are you collecting the comics from the games oh oh uh no not really i'm not i'm not collecting any um i know that there's a new street fighter versus teenage mutant Ninja turtle series um which looks kind of fun i'm not collecting any gaming comics but if i do see them i buy them for my brother yeah because yeah, ryan, ryan does collect anything video game related yeah so that's exactly what ty was getting to so the yeah. street fighter comics yeah my interest if um so you guys definitely should check out the channel uh his yeah, channel, yeah, definitely. uh because we do do we did do a couple of live streams together it's hard to see but my brother's apartment which is really literally across the street from me um he had so his whole living room is built up like a, a retro arcade 
Oh, nice. Oh, that's like a proper man cave, isn't it? Yes, and if, if oh. so, his his wife is completely into it as well. Oh, that's great! And so he's got this huge living room, and it's all video yeah. game memorabilia. Wow. So he's got the arcade one up cabinets. Um, he's anything that's just game related. Um, you know, he's got figures all over the wall and such. So it's it's really cool. It's so so cool. Got another question. James, how was your selling experience recently with JP? Something I've always wanted to do, but just don't have the confidence. Um, Andy, it was, I loved it. I absolutely, um, I had a great day. Everybody, everybody in Hereford was like really friendly, except for those two guys, Jason. Oh, Steve Cook, Cookie, Cookie Monster, as I call him. Yeah, there was a few people, yeah. So he was this wasn't even customers, was it? This was sellers. These are sellers. These are traders. Was, and they were just arguing yeah. with each other. Um, but, there was uh, the one guy is about. particularly negative. So, so Kev, this is what happened. I'm there, green as anything, set up my stall, tried to make it look pretty. Yeah. And these two guys come over looking like, so before the show starts, like the, the traders go and look around each other's stalls and whatnot. So these two guys are looking at my stall and they're going, they're rooting through my comics. Now, to be fair, I price my comics to sell. Yeah. So right. there were, there were like minor keys in there, dirt cheap because I, I've got so many copies of them. I just wanted them gone. And these guys obviously saw the prices and thought I can, I can sell these on my stall for a, a few quid more. In the same location yeah. that you're yeah. in, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's that's exactly what. So they were like, I could sell these, and so they were they were going through. And this one guy picked a bunch out, and he went, "Um, would you do?" Um, he, he said a price for this comic, okay. and the other guy was like, "You want to offer him that for that? That like you're that's I mean, it's cheap as as it is." Yeah, and they yeah, got yeah. into a whole big argument, didn't they, Jason? That were yeah. literally yeah. at practically at fisticuffs. So to be fair, it had been simmering for a while, and they've got uh, beef that's been going on for a good few uh, weeks prior to that, uh, oh. which came to a head. Like, uh, obviously, we're in front of James, and this is the first time he's selling, and that's his first experience. So, yeah, it's that. Sellers that's, beef, huh? but that's right, and it's and it's not even with like James says with customers. These were traders just arguing, trade, front, yeah. and but really unprofessional as well. To so. be fair, they came back and apologised both of them separately. Oh. But it was um, it, it, oh, I good. loved it. I absolutely loved it. Put practically, I asked for a chair, and I think I probably sat down once for about twenty seconds. So <laughs> busy, wasn't it? It was really, yeah, just busy. But the, the only negative thing that I'll probably say about it is I didn't really get much time to spend with like jason and and andy and uh and ty so but mm -hmm. that's because we're all really busy busy too fair right so it's been going good james or going yeah well? yeah I, I i actually made about 720 pounds which is probably about about, dollars? uh no i'll probably say it's probably more towards 900 and something dollars maybe i think so but, yeah but i mean i that money was to be put towards a big book which i have purchase successfully so you have purchased one already yep oh. it's um i've kept it really quiet yes you, you, you don't understand kev look like kev's face it's like it's frozen mm. <laughs> but, but it's um you don't understand the relief i've i was constantly searching for a, a decent copy yeah a lot I, I lost out to um one i was really annoyed at, about it um and I couldn't find a copy similar to it for ages, but then I found one, and I I, I won it on auction on a Comic Sick. Connect. Um, but the relief of finally getting getting one and no longer having to search, like it was like a weight had come off my soul, shoulder. Of so, course, um, it's always so like sickening to buy a Grail though for me. It's like I mm. like every time I've bought a big Grail, I just like. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it cost me a thousand dollars. So wow, um, it's, wow. Um, but it, all the money from selling was put towards that. So cool. But we were saying earlier, weren't we, that that book two years ago, you oh, wouldn't be able to double that, double that. Oh yeah, only because the prices have come down. Everything has come down. 
It's yeah. like that maximum carnage. Um, um, Manu, who uh, I did that video with, he actually previously owned that copy, and mm. he sold it for like thirteen hundred dollars, mm. and I bought it for four fifty. A few oh, years later. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, as you reminded him several times. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. I you I I, I paid. 15 for mine at the time yeah but yours is 9.6 isn't it yeah yeah what'd you get 9.4 uh, 9.2 oh 9.2 but but mate in our in this country that they're not they're practically non-existent in, oh in yeah the i mean that's the f- so when i bought mine that was the first time i i ever saw it in person i've never seen it in person yeah I mean, yes, I'm like, it's very, they're like, I don't want to say rocking horse shit, but they're like rocking horse shit, especially <laughs> in decent condition. Um, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so Andy, that's what my experience was like. It's really good. And I met some really good people that day. Um, Ian Carter, thank you for joining us, buddy. Um, Perpetu- Jason is a top man. I don't oh, know well, thank Jason you. you were yeah. to there. I'll look at that. You might, I don't know what the. I don't know what you 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 obviously oh. been sending him checks in the post. I'll See, I bucks. I hate selling things, as you guys probably aware. I've 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 made it I well know. aware a lot of times that I hate selling. I hate yep. selling things. It's not just because I'm like, oh no, my things. It's just like a dealing with the people. I hate yeah. dealing with the people. <laughs> That's like people off. getting away of things, don't they? I think it's more really what's good about obviously about selling in person is that they've got the book in front of them. So if there's any problems with it, they can look just there, but whether Mm. when you send it on eBay or where Facebook Mm. or whatever, you've got to ship it out to them. Then it's when I get severe anxiety that they're going to go, no, I want my money back or, you know, you've got damage during shipping or yeah. And they'll send a different book back or, Oh yeah. That's that's happened to me on eBay. So, and that's what caused me to stop selling on eBay for a really long time Mm -hmm. was that I, someone had purchased an ASM 316 for me in a 9.6 and it was in the older case and older label. And so they reported it as fraudulent. What? What? What sign? It wasn't officially CGC. Yeah. That's I was like, I, I was sick. I was so sick. And of course, I was newer to eBay then. And so they requested a refund. And I didn't know that I couldn't do the refund without getting this the, the item back. So I oh, thought okay. like I was going to be protected that, you mm-hmm. know, they would, that he was going to have to send it anyways. Yeah. Yeah. But I read and so many people made that mistake and they didn't send it back. And I was like sick to my stomach, like oh my. So you goodness. gave him the refund, and you never had the book back. The book. Yeah, right. Oh, I did oh, get man. the book back, though. I did. Oh, but, did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did get the oh. book back, but I was um, kind of uh, scared that he was going to be a, a shit bag and do that. Oh man, jeez, it, it does. It really affects your anxiety, doesn't it? It's always yeah. a worry, and you're also relying on USPS and. FedEx, you know, in making sure they're not picking the packages and, or dropping them, because we know how easily the cases crack and scratch, and yes. it's just it's just a real ball ache, then, isn't it? You know, right, yeah. right, yeah. Providing so, uh, that the, providing they're shipped correctly, so you be right. Yeah, um, Kev, I've got to ask you while you're here, mate. Yeah, yeah. What, did, what did you think of Godzilla minus one? Oh. I mean, oh, we're, we're, we're going we're going there oh my no, god no. oh i'm tasting it all over again it's oh it's so it's so uh, good i haven't seen that it. is it good you it really haven't Godzilla, seen it best godzilla movie ever it ever. really is it really is it, i mean godzilla. godzilla's just been released now this weekend yeah. isn't it godzilla is it like Beetlejuice though where like he's only in it for 10 minutes no no it, a lot. No, it starts off with him in it's it rampant rampant being violent it's amazing um no this it's the effects incredible the movie is nearly perfect but there is one thing in the movie that you know it is what it is but every godzilla movie gets this wrong where you see godzilla standing in the ocean right 
but what, there's what like full length. What is he standing on? He exactly. What is he standing mm. on? Mm. And like, I don't want to give the plot away because I don't want to spoil it. But like, they want to. Yeah, you? they want to use the ocean to their advantage, pretty much. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. And so you see him standing in water, and then all of a sudden he's like below water. Mm. So that's that's the only thing. That's the only She's thing that gets me all the time. Well, She's even crunching. in this film. Yeah, in this movie, uh, and it happened in Godzilla King of the Monsters too, where you see him, you know, uh, blow his atomic breath in the sky and he's middle That's of the right. ocean. And then you see him swim away. I'm like, where did all this water come from? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's, it's not a big deal, but it's just one of those things that you're like, man, they did, they, they did that wrong again. I, mm -hmm. I don't get it. I don't know. So uh, whatever. But it was besides that okay don't don't let that diminish it okay besides okay. that this movie is beautiful okay it's a great story it's a great story it has a perfect balance of what everybody wanted or complained about in a godzilla movie whereas mm. there's no human human element to this godzilla movie uh there's not enough godzilla um or i didn't see enough of him you know mm. what I mean? So I yeah. feel like they took all of these because complaints, of yeah, and just kind of blended it together to make everybody happy. It's a beautiful um, story. And when you consider the budget that they had was probably one eighth of what, uh, what the yeah, other the Hollywood, Hollywood films stuff. have, yeah. and what they did for the money using their initiative was incredible. You know, it's, I've seen some of the behind the scenes estimated maybe. fifteen million dollar budget. That's amazing. Well, talk about beautiful stories. Ian's left a beautiful comment. If it wasn't for these guys, I wouldn't have started collecting again. Oh, look. Oh, oh mate. Thanks, Thank, Ian. thank you. Um, right. Um, it's one about Spidey Mobile, the <laughs> infamous Spidey Mobile. <laughs> that is a... <laughs> we don't want that is about, do we? That was so funny. I think we all did a show. In fact, I think, Jace, I think um, we all did a show years ago and it was talking about what comic book growls that we wanted. What, like, what was our one key that we wanted? Did we could get anyone, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think, I think I chose that Maximum Carnage book. And obviously at the time it was like stupid prices. And I think Mikey chose the Spidey Mobile, which was obviously like a $20 book at best. Mm. And then was like, what are you thinking? Oh, well, we know on. why he said that. We know why he said that, but um, we we all know why he said it. But my he last is, grail is still the, talking about it. It was great. <laughs> my last grail is the is the one that you just got. That's the last one. What well, the um? Oh, oh yes, yes. yes. Mm. That's that's mm. the last one. Are we on about this. <gasps> Wait, is that it already? No, no, no. So this. <laughs> oh my is... god. So this, I mean, if, I don't know if you can see, it's not a full-size comic. Oh, okay. So this comes with, this book comes in the back. It's like a reprint of, obviously, issue number one. That was really cool, mate. It's like a cool little, um, I thought, I thought, I mean, this book costs like 30 quid, but it comes in the back. I just thought it was a cool little reprint. Yeah, yeah. So for anyone wanting to know what the growl is, it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number one. Ah, oh, he <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> I know. Uh, well, it, it'll, it will be here soon, I promise you. Uh, yeah, I think, I, that, I think that would be the definitive last grail for me, honestly. Yeah. Because, um, like, yeah. Uh, uh, realistically, I, I can't own an AF-15, so. <laughs> no, I mean, it's I mean, coming down in price, right. but even now, I still can't. You know. But I, think, I, I kind of feel like if I came into some sort of, not ridiculous amount of money, but I don't know if I, I if I had, like, $25,000, I'd get a low-grade copy. Mm. And then, I'd probably, yes. but then, again, like, like you said, Kev, it's basically... What do you do from there? Yeah, right. You know, because I mean? I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm. I'm telling you now. I'm not collecting modern comics. Not. Not interested. No, in me neither. I haven't. I haven't been buying any modern comics. I was interested in maybe picking up the moon, the the newest Moon Knight series, but I didn't. I mean, I don't think I've actually read modern comics since 
the, the you know like the um donny cates and yeah, uh, Ryan yeah same. venom because the, the the newest venom fell flat on its face for me by issue seven i was like this this sucks i i don't care about any of this but um, um i've been still I, I i've i will admit i've been kind of overwhelming myself right now with uh upgrading the collection i've been yeah. like kind of going i've been still doing that and um i've been going through box box to box right now i'm in i'm in my batman box because i've already upgraded my my mutant box my x-men box but i'm i'm kind of overwhelming myself with it honestly yeah i think uh to be fair i've started upgrading my collection because there's not really books that i'm interested in buying except for obviously more valuable books now yeah um and i haven't well i mean like it's it's been a it's been a tough situation lately with with the wife in school and uh not really working and i'm just the one that's been working but i haven't been buying much no nah. too busy uh, playing games too busy oh, but mashing, too, but ma mashing the buttons but uh she's graduating in may fellas it's, it's yay I'm going to have right. a sugar mama. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Get her on the streets. <laughs> we're, playing, we're playing a game called Guess the Comic Cover, which I'm sure you've played before on the channel. Um, so Jason hasn't gotten any yet. No, oh, me too. Oh. It's shocking. So I think there's, there's, there's three left. So if we do another, if you're in Come the on. chat, have a go as well. I think it was collector one, two, three guessed all first correctly. yes yeah yeah Mr. Um, Clinton. so if i just get this up hey captain uk by the way hello there hey, hey. right um there's this book here well this what the fuck is that no this is, no, this is my point right i'm glad what? i'm not the only one <laughs> is that turd man <laughs> no it's the, it's it's the thing that's the thing. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, that, that looks like a pile of crap. Yeah. Well, I Mr. mean, I, I, get it. I would have to guess it's a Fantastic Four book then. I don't know what number. Mm, I don't want to give it. I can give you clues, but. Is it a Marvel 2-in-1? No. it's a uh, Obviously, it's a Marvel book. Is it uh, a Marvel team-up? It's a key book. It's not a team-up book, no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm it's not fantastic I'm four. It's, i'll give you one clue it's not fantastic four i'm already i'm already out of options <laughs> wait 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 i've loaded my gun and i've shot every round i had <laughs> hulk is it it's a hulk book no it's not a hulk book oh hmm. my goodness it's a, it's it's a collector one two three we know we need to know uh it's it's an issue number one Oh. You're gonna get it straight away. As a key book, yeah. Uh, oh, it's, it's not in no way. It's not Amazing Spider-Man number one. Ding 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 ding. It's a what? It's an ASM Captain UK one. got it as well. Oh, how did it? Oh, oh my brain. Oh, I know, oh. right? Because they were on the cover, weren't they? Oh, that hurt my ego. <laughs> This is it. it. I, I, I think we. I mean, we all don't own a copy of this book, but um, yeah, it's um. Wow. I, see, I, I would have got that straight away, but that's just me. That's, that's but again, that's because you've done it. Yeah, I suppose. Well, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, he was. He looked like a pixelated piece of shit. Yeah. So. What well, it 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 it, it Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. Let me this zoom is true. In, right? This is true. Zoom in. Look at him. It, I mean, it, it don't get much better. God I mean, damn. It really doesn't. Look how pixelated it is. Yeah. You can't even make out his face. Why? Can someone tell me why he's wearing pants? Why? Because Wait, he, why he's wearing underpants. Wear out. Well, because you, you don't want to see the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you buy you buy one, you get one three. 
Oh. It's clobbering time, but not the kind of clobbering you're thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> get your crash helmet on. So, so Jace, you actually got one well done, mate. Thank you. Wow. Um, Pulled one back there, so to speak. Wow. What are you on about the thing's foreskin? <laughs> God damn. God damn. Right, okay, have we got another Does one? Does it make another like one? a grinding rock sound when, like, you know, it pops well, out? Yeah. Oh, now, Kev, if you don't get this one, mate. I mean, if I see 300s. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be an ASN 300, isn't it? Oh, oh that's Batman uh, 227. Oh! Come on now. Come on now. Wait, why is she walking like that? Well, I Scared. see. I did that because I thought that you'd think it was like some sort of horror comic. Yeah, well, I thought it was. I thought it was like an EC thing. I knew Kev would get that straight away, damn it. I'm perpetual Comics unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. Didn't, uh, didn't like showing his pebbles off, obviously. Mm. Right, yeah, so that is... It makes, it, it makes me want to go get, get, go get mine with the sketch on it. Have, have you dudes ever seen that? Uh, you got a Neil yeah. Adams sketch on it, have you? Huh? You got Neil Adams sketch on your cover? Yeah. Yeah, on the 227. Yeah, go and get it, mate. Go on, might as well. Yeah, go get it. Yeah, so for everyone watching, it was Batman 227, which is a beautiful it's Neil it. Adams cover. It's a great cover, isn't it? It's a beautiful cover, that is. In fact, I, I might... I do want this now, actually. <laughs> was this... I mean, I've not read this storyline, but was it um, like a... a Ghost related one or like a horror related storyline. Well, I'm hoping our American guests with some knowledge might be able to answer that question. Yeah, um, he would have read it, wouldn't he? Because I mean, I don't know if you met Neil Adams did do some horror stuff with DC, didn't he? Because it was the Phantom Stranger and all that lot, wasn't there? Yes. Oh, let me make you big, Kev. Ah, oh, look at that! Beautiful, mate. That's amazing. That is beautiful. Would would you be interested in sending that off to CGC now that we'd be doing verifications? You know, mm. that, that definitely has piqued my interest on some of the stuff. I think I I think I might, but I mean I saw the dude do it right in front of me, so it would it would grade low. I think this would maybe get mm, like a three point five. Maybe a four. Because I did get it pressed, but I mean, of course, it only can do do so much with the damage, and that's the reason why I chose this one because, like, it it made it pretty. <laughs> I didn't yeah. want him. I didn't want him to do it to my my nice one. So well, that's like, fantastic, Kev. That's a, it looks that's great. Fun. It does look great, me. I was asking James about the storyline in that particular book because I've not read it. Is it like horror related or like? Is this book horror related? Uh, somewhat, yeah. Um, I read it a long time ago. Uh, I can't so much remember the premise. Okay, well, if you can't, he... can't quote it word for word, we don't want to know. Yeah, oh, you must have right, stopped bro. talking now. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> this dude's after her. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And I think that one's obviously going to save the day. This dude is chasing this this poor woman, and then Batman <laughs> is just standing in the background, just watching. It's a the cover is a homage to Detective Comics thirty one. That's true, Mister Click one two three. Where have you been? All all, all of our lives. Thanks but you know me. what? Even though it is a an homage, it is the first homage that is actually, in my opinion, done better than the original. Oh wow. Uh... Mm. In his opinion, it is yeah. Um, so if we do the last book, yeah, and then Jace, then... do you want to pull out your? Yes, I get it ready, mate. I mean, your, this your one man thing. I mean, <laughs> this one. Um, I kind of jumped the gun a bit too far, so. Have a look. You, you should get this very quickly. Oh, I mean that's easy. Yep. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Turtles number one. Yep. Bam, baby! What is that, then? What is that exactly? It's, it's, it's Shredder's Shadow, Shredder. isn't it? Shredder, yeah. I know that. 
Come on, man. I was yeah. sure there. From the two. Shy, isn't it? Bloody hell. Or well, as, we say, nice. as we say in our Boston accents, the shredder. The shredder. <laughs> the shredder. The shredder. The shredder. The DMNT number one says Mr. Collector123. Yeah. He's good. Um, he knows his stuff. Well, Jace, I think we're going to have to get Mr. Collector on instead of you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll take that. I deserve that. No, I'm only joking, Matt. I'm only joking. You, you did get. um. ASM one, so I think Kev beat you two one. Mister Collector won the entire show. Nice he job. did. Fair two. First prize. So Mister Collector one two three. And courtesy of the host, you are about to win five hundred dollars. Congratulations. Yeah, speak to Jason Parker Comics on Instagram about it. Ah uh, no, don't don't speak to him. So Jason, is this um what what is this a CGC? So, yeah, uh, I submitted two books to CGC. Um, they were magazine size, so I knew it was going to take a long time to come back. But after seven or eight months, I was getting a bit concerned as to where they were. Uh, and I contacted the office, and they they apologized and gave me a $50 credit, which is very kind of them. Oh, no. um, so th these books that I've, I've sent up are oh, a copy I've not shown my address in here. <laughs> well, you... all sorts of strange people turning up. I've got, I've got extreme deja vu. But, but you did, you do a video like not long ago that where you got a bit of credit from CGC. I mentioned it. Yes. Oh, you, oh, you mentioned the. Oh, yes. Okay. But I haven't. I literally haven't. Um... Oh, shit. Let's see. I have. I've had these books, mate, for for months now, and I. And I've not right. So here's the thing, right? I'm gonna hold it up for you. You guys gotta guess the grade, all right? Okay. Oh, I miss can doing we, this. Can I ask a no. question? Yeah. No. So you've not even checked to see if they're damaged or anything nope. like that? No. So oh, no. potentially we could have some great content here if, if they're it, smashed to pieces. If, if, if they're wrecked. Um now these are in the new magazine cases. Oh. Mm. I think. They, they seem right okay. It seems solid. It seems solid. Wow. Oh, I remember you getting this. Adult. I think I remember you getting the raw book. Oh, I yeah. had the raw book. That's right, mate. Okay. Yeah, I remember, I this. remember he contacted us. Oh no, that's another guy. Oh, was that I think. Guy? I think. I think. All right. Captain Britain number one. Um so you, you wouldn't have submitted this if it was anything lower than an, an 8.5. Uh, there's no point, really. Um, I I basically looked at it, and I thought it was probably like... I'll tell you what I think it is. Well, you tell me what you think it is, and I'll tell you what I think it is. I mean, from, from here, it looks, looks nice. Good. Let me see if I can pull up the spine. Hang on a second. I don't want to... Oh. Both mine and Kev's foreheads right in the uh, mix now. Trying to, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get the protection See, off. Uh, it looks a little brownish. Yeah, the, the, but so the, these also... are like newspaper, aren't they? When they these, yeah. These the, the quality of, of these magazines are, are pretty crap. The only thing is, guys, the stain. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's a big one, no? I know. Okay. Uh, All right. Which I, I must confess, I didn't notice too much when I submitted it. So we hey, got a couple of guesses. Ian Carter said hey. nine point four. Mister Collector right. said eight point five. Right. Petrol Comics has said seven point five. Seven point five. Thanks, Andy. Um, I'm gonna go nine point oh. Wow. I don't I don't know what to do here. Such high grades, 9.0. I don't know. Uh that's that that stain put me off, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I don't think a book with a stain can get that high, can it? With especially that big key shed stain again. I might have to change my answer. Couldn't really see it. I thought it was just like a tad. 
Oh yeah, it's a, it's a, it's like a the, water slide there, isn't it? The truck, yeah, yeah no, well. Oh, just by the truck? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it went like on that spot and like kind of angled toward the bottom of the boat. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna go. I'll go with a seven. So, I'm I'm gonna knock mine down to an eight point five. Okay. Well, I thought it was going to be a nine point two initially when I submitted it, and then when I saw that sign, I thought it was going to be probably like a, a seven point five, uh, maybe eight, maybe eight, um, eight point five. Oh, wow! Nice. So, do you know what? That's not bad. I, I, for an eight point five to a nine point zero. I'm like you, James. I don't like nine point zeros. Yeah, uh, they're just horrible to look at. But anyway, eight point five. And that is off white white pages. What do you think about the new magazine covers, guys? I think it looks I think, better. I think they look good. Uh, you said about the label before, didn't you, mate? Fitting nicely. Yeah, so I've got a couple here. I don't have any magazine slabs. So I've got my my raft one. Oh yeah, the, yeah. The, the label's like a bit. It's outside. Yeah, it's out, yeah. It doesn't look great. Yeah, it's outside. So that's what CGC's old cases used to do too. They used to put the sticker on the outside, and, and, and they're quite. Just doesn't feel as these new ones feel really good. Feel heavy. It feels heavy. To, are you selling that, Jace? Yeah, that looks, that looks cool. nice. Um, uh, it'll probably be something like three hundred dollars, maybe two hundred fifty quid. Uh, 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 okay. And the mask is with that, of course, as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, w when I went through that collection a few weeks ago, I was desperate to find that mask from because I think the the mask is probably worth more than the book. Right. Do you not? I don't know. Yeah, don't know yeah. Well, it certainly um, creates a lot of value for it. Is Looking this number out. eight? This is number eight. Mm -hmm. Another big key book, Betsy Braddock. I actually like the the size format of these books. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, different. This Again, looks... um, feels quite robust. Robust this one. Um, this one looks nicer, no? Yeah, I think it looks nicer, mate. Okay. Uh, apart from, I mean, you got that corner there. Okay. Uh, sorry, where am I going? Is oh, a glare, mate. Sorry. Yeah, but everything's reversed, and I'm trying to. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get this the spine. Let me take that. I'm impressed. What year is this from? Seventies. Yeah, seventy six. Hmm. Yeah, the colors look great on that. Yeah, mm. it does. Yeah, that is um, that's first um, first Betsy Braddock, is it? Yeah, Psylocke. Yeah, first Psylocke. Really. Yeah. Oh, I'm learning and things. And a, a, a UK magazine as well, mate. Hmm. Ah. This goes more more than Captain Britain one. Ironically what? enough. Yeah. Um, In full colour. I reckon that. <laughs> In full colour. L-O-U-R. The proper way of spelling it. I, I reckon you've got a 9-2 on that, Jace. Hmm. Okay. I was going to go. Right, go on. Sorry, Kev. Uh, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, I was. I was thinking nine two on this as well. Oh. Uh, no, no, I'll go nine. Be, only because of that corner there. Um, I can't really see that corner. That looks what? Oh, Ooh. oh, you yeah. said <laughs> doubles exactly. Double. Exact same. Double. Off white yeah. as well. That's kind of cool though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's nice little set then, I suppose. Yeah. Are you so, keeping those? No, mate, I'll be flipping them. I'll be selling them. Oh, he's flipping them? Oh. Yeah. Goodbye. So, oh, on there we had um, 8.5, so we had 9, 9, 9, 2. Yeah, so we had, um, I don't know where the new, oh, so we had Mr. Collectibles. Mr. Collectibles, so you got 8.5 on both of them. Icoma 9, Ian 9, Perpetual 9, Captain UK 9.0. Damn, Mr. Collectors, He gets, gets, gets 8.5 on both. He did, yeah. I can't believe Jason, it. Are you Mr. Collector once? Yeah, I am. Uh, oh, all along. He's just been trolling us. I can't believe it. Wow. So yeah, so, yeah I mean they took ages to arrive. Um 
but yeah, they'll be going up for sale. Um, I'll probably sell them out the next Comic Con or something like that. I don't particularly want to stick it on eBay, it's a bind, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah congratulations, but well done, that's cool. Thank you very much. So, uh, Jason, anyway, we... how much? Um, I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry, come on, you go ahead, buddy. Uh, how much of your collection has slimmed down since you've made you can see right behind me now. Um, that used to be full of slabs, that didn't used to be full of slabs. The, a lot of it's gone. I have got one of those special chests now that um, I keep most of my books in. Mm. Um, I think, I don't know if you knew this, mate, but since I've seen I've gone Avengers 1 and a CGC 4.0. Um, well, uh, but I, I'm going for more old books now, mate. Your the, the EC horror books, you know, the pre code. Uh, yeah, which I, I've always been shocked that you've never collect like sooner. Honestly, yeah, yeah. Well, this is it. I'm even. I'm not. I'm not bothered. Well, I'm never. I'm not bothered about modern books for a long time. But yeah, uh, even like Silver Age, I'm. I'm kind of sort of fed up now, and I'm delving into Golden Age. It's just a really deep hole, mate. It's it's so expensive. I've never. I, I have not purchased a Golden Age book yet. I no, can't. No. I just can't justify paying that much money for like a very quirky, campy book, you know. Especially when it comes to Batman, because I I feel like if I were to buy Golden Age, it would be Batman, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. But obviously, you're you're like our Batman, really, the Neil Adams. What it, you know? Yeah, that, that's, that's when a whole. It, that's a whole different tone. That's Batman yeah. for me. You know what I mean? I, I even have a hard time buying Silver Age Batman because it's just so campy. Yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But that's part of the appeal for me. I really I really like that sort of style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, yeah. I do like my horror too, but I don't have any EC books either. Mm, there's some great stuff out there, mate. I love that. Um, I think it's comic suspense stories. No, sorry, uh, crime suspense stories 22 possibly or – where the, it's got that iconic cover where the guy's holding the oh, woman's the head. head and that blood. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. A, you know, there's a Wolverine cover yeah. where he's holding the yeah. 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 Is, is he holding saber tooths? Yeah. He's yeah. holding yeah. saber tooths, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, th I think one book that I really like from that era is um, is it Chamber of Chills or Chamber of Chills, yeah. That is that the one with the martini glass? The martini, yeah, and, this, and yeah. the woman's. Skeleton, half skeleton. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. The, that's a brilliant cover that is. The uh, that's the artwork that. Uh, well, let's say the the band, the Misfits, made that artwork famous. Yeah. All right, yeah. And there's a black cat number fifty, I think it is as well. Yeah, with the with the guy with the um, dissolving face. Is yeah, it? yeah. Uranium, is it? Yeah. Yeah, some yeah. some great artwork. Um, yeah. Well, well, that's it from me, guys, and I'm dying for a wee. Yeah, that's uh, we'll um, get the show ended then. But thank you both. Honestly, it's been it's been like it's been great to see you both. I'm the same. same. I missed Aww, it. Thank you. It's, we should do this a bit sooner this time rather than leave another over a year. To be honest yeah, with you, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Um, we need to. Cut, cut, I don't know. I know we can't. Obviously. During lockdown, like during like the pandemic, we we're doing this weekly, weren't we? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was like the highlight. Even after, our, yeah. Yeah, even after, yeah. But it was like the highlight of our week. Um, but if we can try and do it like one once a month or every couple of months, that'd be great. Yeah, agree. Um, yeah, because yeah. we, we don't really um we don't really get to see each other anymore. No, no, no. Sad, sad story. I know, but no. Thank you very much for coming on, guys. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little hangout episode. And we've had a bit of fun. And, um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to I don't want to press end because I don't want to leave you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, you say goodbye. You say goodbye. Well, you, you say, say goodbye. You, go, you say goodbye first. Yeah, you say, no, you say it first. Goodbye. I can't you say it. it. <laughs> Goodbye. Good, good, goodbye.